This is Mission Control Houston. The last week of the International Space Station's Expedition 33 has been focusing on getting three of the crew members ready to return to Earth. After more than four months on orbit since their launch in mid-July, Station Commander Sonny Williams, Flight Engineers Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hoshide will be coming home Sunday evening U.S. time. Each day this past week, each of the three of them has had several blocks of time on their schedule set aside for departure preparation. That involves packing up their personal gear, closing out some experiment operations, packing those returning items into the Soyuz, as well as testing the Soyuz systems itself. They've also ramped up their daily exercise so they'll be in good shape to encounter gravity. For Malenchenko, some of that exercise was done wearing the lower body negative pressure suit. That's a Russian protocol that uses a suit and air pressure to simulate gravity by pulling on his lower extremities. Hoshide had his last session with the Integrated Cardiovascular Experiment, which tries to quantify cardiac atrophy of the crew members during a long-duration spaceflight. Uh, he also did exercise for the sprint investigation, which is looking to find out if high-intensity exercise done in shorter spurts is better for fighting bone and muscle loss than long sessions of just moderate exercise. On Monday, and again on Friday, Williams, Malenchenko, and Hoshide suited up in their launch and entry suits and conducted uh, Soyuz descent drills as they get prepared to come home. Station maintenance continued all during the week, even for the departing crew members. Williams and Hoshide set up hardware for an upgrade to the wireless access points for the station's onboard computer network. Flight engineer Kevin Ford was also busy in maintenance this week, changing out a valve and a water recovery system, installing radiation area monitors throughout the station, and installing a sensor kit for taking measurements of ultrasonic background noise. That's for an investigation that seeks to develop technology that will be able to listen for a pressure leak on board the station. To do that successfully, the system would need to know what a non-leak noise sounds like, and that's the uh, goal of the uh, sensor kit that Ford was installing. Leaving the uh, station didn't reduce the commitment of the crew members to uh, sharing their experience of spaceflight. On Wednesday, Hoshide answered questions about the flight posed by college students who were gathered at the uh, Scuba Space Center. And on Thursday, uh, Williams and Ford talked with elementary and secondary school students at the National Air and Space Museum as part of National Education Week activities. The crew continued its work while ground teams were planning a Friday morning firing of engines on the uh, 49 Progress in a debris avoidance maneuver to nudge the station away from a possible conjunction with an unidentified piece of space junk. What would be the second debris avoidance maneuver in a little more than two weeks' time would not have any effect on the plans for the weekend Soyuz undocking and landing. A ceremony marking the change from Expedition 33 to Expedition 34 is scheduled for Saturday at 1.15 p.m. Houston time. Expedition 34 officially begins, and Kevin Ford becomes space station commander when Sonny Williams departs the station. And that should take place at 4.26 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. NASA TV will provide live coverage of the change of command ceremony, the final farewell and hatch closure, and the departure of Williams, Malenchenko, and Hoshide from the station on Sunday afternoon, as well as their landing in northern Kazakhstan Sunday evening U.S. time to wrap up a 127-day-long space adventure.